car. You don't have anything to worry about on that test. You're going to do well. Remember, with that test, you have two attempts. So it's going to be important that you use those attempts wisely. That test will open up on Friday at 730 in the morning. And then it will close at 530 on Friday. So you'll want to make sure you get that test done on that day. It's also important for you to remember that that test will open back up on Monday morning at 730. It's going to be important for you to remember that if that test is not completed by the time Monday science class starts at 848, you will not be admitted to the live session. Why? It's because we're going to be going over that test. So if you've not completed that test, if you've not completed that test, um, you shouldn't be in there when we're going over answers, okay? So please make sure you're working on your CFA, you're getting all of your graded assignments in, um, and you're asking Ms. Neville any questions you have today through email or to on Thursday, tomorrow, during our um, tutoring session, okay? I want to be there to help you with that as well. Are there any questions before we start our live lesson today? Sid, uh, Evie Jo, go ahead and under, uh, raise your hand. Um, yes, I have, I, have a, I have a question. Um, how many questions are on this test? I think it's going to be about 33. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Okay, so let's get started with our notes for today. We're going to be learning about mollusks and nadarians. Our learning objective for class today is I can, that means you, I can identify the traits that make the mollusk similar and different from the nadarian. So let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this live lesson is being recorded. So if you miss some notes, if Ms. Neville goes too fast, or you need to hear Ms. Neville explain something to you again, please take the time to watch this recorded lesson, which will surely be available to you at 926 today in Schoology and on my YouTube channel. So when we're talking about mollusks and the darians, it's important for us to understand in your notes, you're going to want to write the question, what is a mollusk? What is a mollusk? And I want you to list each of these examples of a mollusk. Mollusks, examples of mollusks are clams, snails, squid, oysters, scallops, and the octopus. All of these animals are mollusks and they share the following traits. They are aquatic animals. Aquatic means they live in the water. They have soft bodies. And the body is divided into segments. The body is divided into segments. The head, the main body, and its muscular foot or tentacles in the case of the squid and octopus. Please take some time to list these. You will be asked to draw the pictures of these animals in your guided notes today. The guided notes have already been added to Schoology. Please take some time to make sure your notes are complete after our live lesson ends today. And one more thing we want to make sure we don't forget about the mollusk is that of the six mollusks that you're writing down right now, two or four of them move using a muscular foot. And that muscular foot is called a pseudopod.
Pseudopod literally means false foot. Okay. So what happens there with the mollusk, especially with a snail, I want you to think of a slug as well. Its body is soft, right? It's like a jelly. Okay. And so what happens is it's able to push that body out and pull itself along. No, it doesn't have feet, but it can make its soft body into a false foot or pseudopod so that it's able to move and push along. And I spelled that word wrong. Let me fix it. The E goes before the U. I want to fix that for you. Pseudopod. In your notes, you'll also want to write the question, what is a Nadarian? What is a Nadarian? And you want to make sure you list that some examples of Nadarians, and you'll be drawing the pictures later on in your guided notes. An example of the nadarian is coral, the sea anemone, the jellyfish. We're going to see lots of examples of jellyfish here, as well as the hydroid. So there's really four examples that you need to be writing down here. Coral, sea anemone, the jellyfish, and the hydroid. The Nadarian is important. Remember, if Miss Neville's going too fast, this lesson is being recorded. The Nadarian has some features as well. Okay, they too are aquatic animals. They too are aquatic animals. They use stinging tentacles to obtain resources and move. So those tentacles that are there are used for stinging and movement. And they also have soft bodies. So you're already able to see here some of the similarities that mollusks and nadarians have with one another. Just to make sure we're being clear in our notes, these characteristics go with the mollusk and these characteristics go with the nadarian. One last characteristic you want to add under the mollusk is this bullet here. The body is covered by a shell. That's what makes a squid an octopus. I know some of you may think, be thinking that question. Why is a squid an octopus not considered an Nadarian? It's because they have more characteristics, more identifying qualities um, in common with the mollusk than they do the Nadarian. Please take some time to finish writing your notes. Miss Neville will be going on at 9.05.
about two more minutes to keep working on your notes. Okay, so let's keep going on. Now, remember when we're talking about our learning objective for today, we are comparing and contrasting the mollusk and the nadarian. So it's important for us to then build a Venn diagram. In your notes, if you would please take up about a half to a full page. And I want you to build a Venn diagram just as Miss Neville has. On the left bubble, we're going to write mollusks. And in the right bubble, we're going to write nadarians. See, the C is silent. And remember, in the middle goes the two, the traits that they have in common. That's a little bit better. We want to remember that both the mollusk and the nadarian have soft bodies. They have that in common. They are both aquatic. Remember that means they live in the ocean or the water. Some of them live in lakes and streams. And they are invertebrates. They are animals that do not have a backbone. So those are the traits that they have in common. We want to remember that the mollusk moves using a false foot or pseudopod. I'm not sure why I keep spelling that word wrong. Sorry. And remember that word pseudopod means false foot. Nadarians move generally stinging tentacles. So remember, the octopus and squid are mollusks. Their tentacles don't sting, okay? They also, they also use these stinging tentacles to eat or obtain resources. The mollusk has a segmented body. Remember from that previous slide, their body is broken down into parts. Please take some time to finish our Venn diagram. Miss Neville's moving on at 9.10.
So as we continue our notes today, we're going to talk about the development of invertebrates. We want to remember that when we discuss development, we're talking about how many body parts an organism has. Oops, sorry. That's what development means, how many body parts an organism has. So you're going to build your next model here, and it looks a lot like a timeline. least developed to most developed. Remember, least developed means they have the least amount of body parts. So in our notes, the development of the sea sponge, the sea sponge doesn't have many body parts. It's not very developed. So of all the invertebrates we'll discuss, the sea sponge is the least developed organism, the least developed invertebrate. The most developed invertebrate that we've discussed so far is the segmented worm. Remember, he had all kinds of body parts. Okay, the segmented worm. And as we continue learning, tomorrow we're going to learn about our arthropods, and so we're going to find out where they go on this spectrum of development. We're going to be able to discuss um, and put in place where the other organisms fit. So today, in our notes, we're going to make sure that we've completed all of our notes for today. And you'll want to make sure, you'll want to make sure that you have um, worked on your